Over here I've got a pot of rapidly boiling water. To that I'm just going to add some sea salt. Today we're cooking about 400 grams of pasta. So we're just going to open our pasta and just going to scatter it out nicely into the boiling water. While the pasta comes back up to the boil, I'm going to dice my shallots. I've got two shallots here and I just want to finely dice them. And we're just going to fry these shallots off in a little bit of olive oil, around about a tablespoon. I've just got my pan over here heating up. So I'm just going to pop in a swizzle of olive oil. Like I said, about a tablespoon. And we'll get that into the pan. Now I'm going to crush a little bit of garlic, just with the back of a knife. Just press it down. About two cloves is good for this recipe. I'm just going to check my pasta. It's come back to a nice rapid boil. Okay, the onions have started to soften. I'm just going to add my garlic. You want your onions nice and soft. Cook the garlic through, you don't want that taste of raw garlic. Now while that's happening, I'm going to start my egg mix. I'm going to pop into this bowl here three eggs. And to this, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to add some parmesan cheese. It's about two thirds of a cup there. And to that, I'm going to add about 100 mils of the thickened cream. Once I've combined these ingredients, I just want to whisk them together with a fork and combine them well. Okay, that looks about the right consistency. All the eggs have come together. So now the onions and garlic have finished cooking, I'm going to test my pasta. You want your pasta to the tooth or al dente, so a little bit of bite left in there is good. So now I'm going to turn off the flame and drain my pasta. Now we're going to reuse the same pan to mix everything back in. Now adding back the drained pasta to the same pan. Now I don't have any flame on that. You just want to use the residual heat of the pan. So now to that I can add my onions. I'm going to chop up some smoked salmon. I've got a 200 gram pack here of tassel smoked salmon. Now we just want to chop the smoked salmon up into strips. Again, you don't need to be too fussy with this. And just before you add them to the pasta, separate them up a little bit. Now I'm going to come over with my egg mix and add that all to my pasta. Combine that together just using a wooden spoon. Now I'm going to add my salmon to the pan also. Just scatter it through, give it a little bit of a stir, combine it well, and now we're ready to serve. A great way to serve pasta for all your family and friends is on a large platter like so. Pull and twist the pasta. Now I'm just going to finish with a little bit of chopped parsley and just finish with a little bit of shaved parmesan. And there we have our salmon carbonara. Remember when making salmon carbonara to check your pasta. You're looking for al dente. Ensure your pan is off the heat before you add back the egg mix to the pasta. And after you've sliced your smoked salmon, gently separate the slices before adding back to the pan.